That's a beautiful lab. It's certainly not bad, but, uh, Dominic, could you, could you bring the car in for us, please? So, Jensen, I've seen the inside of your garage, and you're much more of a car guy than I am, so, so what do you think? Well, I don't know. It's pretty, pretty How's the drive? <laughs> the brand new McLaren. That's a, that's beautiful. Okay. So, because the whole model is here, we just imported it straight from CAD. All of the details and materials are present in the design. The leather? The leather. The carbon the fiber? Wheel. Look at that. The rubber steering wheels looks like rubber steering wheels. The car paint? Everything is the original design. The benefit of this, of course, we're not trying to build a video game, we're trying to build a lab of the future. And so the lab of the future has to seem real. Here's what we imagine. Someday you're gonna go into this lab and you're gonna create a product. And you're gonna have AIs helping you. And the AI could be handing you things, the AI could finish the job for you. For example, you might be able to design the basic shape of the car and you say, you know what, I wanna use off the shelf inventory that I've got in the company and I want you to finish my car based on the inventory of parts that we currently have. And then the AI goes and finishes the job, comes up with the blueprints. You might also work with your AI to create the factory that's gonna build this car. And so all the robotic arms and how they're programmed and robotic arms are learning how to be robotic arms inside this environment and you're helping it along. And so when you're done, when you're done, not only did you design an amazingly beautiful car, you also created the entire factory necessary to manufacture the car. Okay, so that's how, that's how we imagine this as a collaboration tool, as a design tool going forward. So, wow, that's just incredibly beautiful. Exactly, as you mentioned, we were able to uh, go in and change designs and materials and really explore what this uh, you know, object's about in this case. Uh, you know, this, this McLaren's beautiful, uh, but we can also take a look inside of the car in a way that would be difficult to do uh, with a physical prototype. Yeah, take this cool tool, Sean. Thank you. So we can use this geometry clipping tool to go inside and take a peek through the engine cover into the engine itself and really explore the objects that we can see. Wow. And it's just a marvel of engineering. Wow, amazing. And of course, there's over 30,000 individual components represented in here inside of the holodeck with us. Uh, and we can explore all of them uh, individually or uh, take them apart. That's every part. That's every part. <laughs> now the thing that's really amazing is when you're in virtual reality, right now you're looking at it from a third person view, but when you're in virtual reality, this car is gonna look like it's sitting right in front of you. It's just utterly shocking. The idea of a clay model is gonna be utterly unnecessary. And when you walk up to the car, you touch it. You touch it in virtual reality, you're gonna feel like you've touched it because there's collision detection. And with, with haptics, it would touch back to you. Okay, you've made a physical contact with that car. What else can you guys do? So that's what we wanted to show you is kind of a sneak peek into uh, the NVIDIA holodeck. Now, when you guys are inside, the virtual, in, inside this virtual reality environment, you don't have to be in the same place, but you feel like you're in the same place, right? Exactly, I'm, I'm right here with my, my, my buds. <laughs> yeah, you guys look great. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Good job. <laughs>